So continuing on with Tuesday, you can also see that supercells are 50% possibility over SEQ. That is a supercell chart. It gives you percentages based on, on potential supercell development. So Tuesday is going to be a big day. We all need to be very aware and prepared for Tuesday. Um, the instability does go out further. It goes right out like Wednesday, Thursday as well, Friday, but inland, over inland parts. We won't go that far yet. We'll stick with short rain stuff now for two days. I don't expect any river flooding. I'll move on to that and show you... Oh, that's, that's Tuesday's rainfall. So you can see it's ramping up over SEQ on Tuesday, extending right in over the Downs, Quilpy, Windora, Tambo, Charleville, all expecting thunderstorms in these areas. Marked up by the bomb on their precip charts. Move on to the eight-day rainfall totals. You can see that the, the accumulative totals are starting to mount up within the next eight days over the southern Queensland area. Falls from 25, 50, 100... 150 there, over the, well it's almost offshore, but we're keeping an eye on this thing. 100 mil's not going to hurt anyone, okay, it's not going to hurt the rivers, creeks or streams. 100 mil in a short space of time will cause flash flooding, so I've got to watch out for that on these big thunderstorm days. However, in the general consensus, the rainfall totals for the week are going to be nothing like what we've seen a couple of weeks ago. So it's going to be some unstable air, we're going to have some thunderstorms, some rain areas, some thundery rain, um, and that sort of thing, but nothing to be too concerned about at this point. It may change, but I don't think it will. You can also see backed by GFS as well, a precip model, you can see that for eight days, we're only looking at totals of 100 or less over southern Queensland. Nothing like what we've seen a couple of weeks ago, we had 600 mil targets around Charleville and Mitchell. And see the computer models do function very well. Um, if this changes, it's the first thing I'll be doing is a video and saying, look out, here we go, purple, 600mm, 300mm, whatever. But at the moment, things are looking quite reasonable. We do have an unstable week ahead. Okay, um, Higgins Storm Chasing has had a few um, little extra features put on the side here, down in tabs. It's got an interactive Queensland radar. Bomb warnings, New South Wales warnings, they are clickable. They will come up in on the wall. <clears throat> Maybe. If my internet loads. Anyway, when you click on these on these tabs down here, they do come up on the wall, as you can see here. Um, due to the Facebook compression on the wall, you do have to use your arrow keys to move across the page somehow. I've got arrow keys here, there we go. And you can move it. Down the bottom of this map you've got um, somewhere you've got um, clickable as well. Clickable. That little checkbox there. You can click that and then you can click on your location for the radar in your area. Alright, handy little tool. It's not really mobile compat compatible. Some mobiles can do it depending on which web browser you are using. Um, and then you've also got the the warnings on the side there as well bomb warnings new south wales bomb warnings and to get back to the wall you just hit wall and it goes straight back to the wall like that up the top corner here to watch to have a look at people's photos or what other people are posting hit everyone most recent and you can see there's a good thunderstorm on michael fleetwood who came in 18 minutes ago oh, it's a, a good tower going up there probably somewhere in south southeast queensland this afternoon a couple of other good storm photos there as well if I go and take you to our new site, which is called Weather Photography Australia, was prompted one of my admins, Jamie Nichols. He, uh, Jamie up here, he suggested the idea because we're getting so many photos of starting up a, a dedicated site Australia wide, so that everyone could um, contribute to to putting photos on here. Uh, you also have to click most recent and everyone to see all these photos and you can see that there are some outstanding photos. Check that one out by Billy Buckley. Wow factor. That's massive. And there are, are some other ones here. There's professional photographers on here as well. Um, that's a unique looking picture. You can see the, the cloud and the, and the stuff in the background. Alright, so we will be doing a picture of the day on this site on um, Weather Photography Australia. 
and um, it sort of will take care of itself. We'll run some competitions in the future as well. We'll just get some sponsors on board for cameras and all that sort of stuff, and we'll start to run some competitions. All right, look out for the severe weather coming, guys, and um, I'll sign out. I'll do a video every night from now, and we'll focus around the next few days at least. Okay, see ya.